In this video tutorial we'll be looking at Mail Merge in Microsoft Word. I start with the database. This can either be a table in a Word document, a database or a spreadsheet. I've created a simple database here. I've given it a name in Excel and I've saved the document. Now I'm going to go into Microsoft Word and I'm going to Mail Merge for letters. So I click on select the mailing tab. The first thing I need to do is collect select my data. So I'm going to use an existing list and I'm going to browse. I browse to the spreadsheet that holds my data. I double click and you can see this is the named range. I select the named range and now I have the fields ready to insert into my document. The fields available to me are listed here. So I can search the title, first name, surname, address, and telephone number. So I'll insert set the title, then the first name, surname, address, telephone number. I need to move them about in the document. So I'm going to select each one. I'm going to cut it. Can I cut it? I can't cut it. I need to move it. And then I can paste it down here. I should be able to show my codes to get a better idea of what's going on. If I can come in between, I can put a new line down here. So I want space in here. Title, first name, space, surname, address, and then telephone. And if I look at mailing, now what I can do is I can I can preview the results and the field is replaced by the data. And I have several records and I can move through in this fashion to see the different records. If I take this view off and I come here I can type a letter now and I can say Dear and I'm going to insert title title, surname, close, put a space in here, dear title, surname, I am writing, and then I carry on with the rest of my letter, preview the results, so dear Mr. Jones, in this case it's dear Miss Marvel, and dear Mr. Rogers, with the address up here, that's a simple mail merge, once it's looking correct here, I have my letter laid out, I can finish a merge, and I have some options here, and I'm going to uh, send it rather than straight to the printer, I'm going to send it to individual documents for checking. And I do that, and I'm going to do all, and now I'll have three documents. I have a letter to Mr. Jones, I have a page to Miss Marvel, and a third page to Mr. Buck Rogers. So I have three letters now that I can send out, and it's merged the contents of the letter with the fields from the database. Now I'll make some mailing labels. They're built-in mailing labels, but I'm going to make the labels myself. First of all, I'm going to insert table. And perhaps I want my labels to be this large. And I'll enter some fields, such as name, uh, address, and telephone. And I'll start with one. So I'll tab over. And I go to mailings. I insert my field as before. So let me insert all my fields. Once I get it the way I want it, and I can, of course, play with formatting, increase the font style, change the font style, I want to look at uh, rules, and I'm going to look for next record. So I add next record. Now with next record in here, I copy everything. I highlight it all. I copy and paste it and paste it and paste it. Now, I'd f for normally I would format the, the letter more but if I merge this then I should see merging I should see several pieces of data on the same page rather than with the other one I had them on separate pages and if I finish and merge this to a new document I should have one document with my mailing labels on it and that was facilitated by keeping on the same page was facilitated by the code on this page the code next record. Next record allowed me to put more than one record on the same page, which I didn't use in the last one.